Hello, and this is a tutorial on how to fix the brightness issue in Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, this is a detailed tutorial, so follow exactly as I do, step by step, and it should solve your brightness issue. First step is to go into Steam and open up Left 4 Dead 2, or if you have a desktop icon, you can just open up Left 4 Dead 2 like that. Uh, yeah, just run the game first. Now that you're in the game, it might take a while to load in your add ons. Uh, let that load uh, depending on how many add-ons you have it might take a while uh, it's an old game running on a new ssd it should load fast nope it's a game issue it's valve's issue uh, the add-ons do take a while once your add-ons have been loaded go into options like how you change your video settings there go into video settings and adjust whatever you need to do including advanced settings set all that however you like it to but the main thing the main thing is is your brightness set that exactly the way you want it dim or brighter up to you right set that make sure it's all done hit done quit the game once you're out of uh, left 4 dead 2 you want to go to your game files wherever that's stored in most people's cases this should be in your c drive so just locate your c drive go to program files times 86 go down to steam steam apps common left 4 dead 2 and then go into uh, Left 4 Dead 2 again and CFG, this is where your video configs, configurations will be go all the way down to the bottom and you want to look for video and video defaults, these two files first off, open up your video file and I already made the brightness fix on my game so your file shouldn't have this line of code so let me just remove that for now so basically just go into the video description of this video and you should find this line of code you can copy that and paste it into this file and then save it once you have saved it copy everything from this file except for the top bit you don't need that just copy all of this including the line of code you added uh, right click copy or you can use Control c you can now exit the file uh, right click on it hit properties and check read only apply ok now open up the video defaults file and delete all this except for the top bit where it says config and paste whatever you copied earlier and once again file save and you can exit uh, when you're back onto this page right click on the video defaults and same thing properties read only apply ok the reason why we copy everything from the video file into the video defaults file is so that your own settings will become the video defaults. Hope this video helps.